Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss uh, about the interconnected delay. First of all, what is interconnected delay? Interconnected delay is the difference between the time at which the signal is applied at the net and the time at which the signal receives the device which is connected to the net. So from the figure, we can clearly see the scene here. Uh, this is the wire. This is the uh, so-called as a net. So here we are applying the signal. So the time difference between the the difference between the sorry the difference between the time at which the signal applied here and the time it reaches the this device which is connected to this net. So the delay in the signal is uh, due to the parasitic resistance and capacitance here. This is due to the parasitic elements which are present internally in the wire. So those are the resistance and capacitance. So due to these parasitic elements, uh, we are facing the delay issue. So this delay can be calculated by using some delay models. So those delay models are here. Uh, some of the delay models are lumped capacitor model, lumped RC model, distributed RC model. So in this distributed RC model, we have the two networks, pi RC network and a TRC network. So those are differentiated based upon their uh, structure. The next one is the RLC model, wire load model, Elmore delay model, transmission line model. So we are going to discuss some of uh, these delay models. First one is the lumped capacitor model. The lumped capacitor model, uh, as the name suggests, uh, in this lumped capacitor model, we consider the capacitance only, not the resistance. Uh, I'll tell you the reason why we are not considering the resistance here. Uh, and the existing capacitance is due to the capacitance of the internet network, inter uh, sorry, the capacitance of the interconnect and the total loading capacitance of the sink. This is the source, which is the driver, and the sink is the rec receiver. So this capacitance is due to the interconnect, the capacitance due to the interconnect and the, capa the loading capacitance of the sink. So those two capacitance are lumped into a equal capacitance, which is a C. Uh, see here we are neglecting the resistance because we are using the wider, uh, we are using the wire which is having the large cross section area. As we know the formula R is equal to rho L by A. Uh, we have uh, studied it in, in our intermediate. Uh, so R is the resistance, rho is the resistivity, L is the length, A is the cross section area. So uh, as I have already said that the cross section area is large. So that's why we have uh, neglected the resistance. So this is how the RC capacitor model looks like. And the next one is the lumped RC model. In the lumped RC model, uh, we use uh, the wire which is having uh, uh, somehow uh, less cross section area uh, compared with the previous one, which is uh, in the lump capacitor model. So width of the wire is reduced. So the total cross section area is reduced. So we are inversely proportional to the area. So that's why we have uh, considered the resistance. So this is how the uh, network looks like when we consider both the resistance and the capacitance. So this is the circuit. And the next one is the distributed RC model. Distributed RC model uh, means the RC is uh, distributed among the distributed along the line. So we are uh, calculating. Uh, so we are uh, making the equal resistance as the resistance per unit length, which is RT. RT is equal to RP into L. So equivalent capacitance. CT is the capacitance per unit length. It is a CP into L. So these uh, in this uh, model, we calculate the resistance and capacitance by using the differential equations. So this is a very accurate, it provides the high, uh, which is, it provides better accuracy. And, uh, ac but uh, we cannot realize this uh, physically. Ideally, we cannot realize this uh, uh, distributed RC model. So, and the next one is the T network. And another one is the pi network. So, for example, if the equal resistance seen in the T network is RT by N, and the equal capacitance seen in this uh, model is CT by N. So, so the in T network, the resistance is distributed. So, sorry, the capacitance is present in between the uh, resistors. So the if for example, if the equal resistance is RT by if the equal resistance here is R and the equal capacitance is C, for example, here in the circuit. So the resistance is 
divided into two parts r by n and r by n so which is connected like this r by 2 r by 2 so if the the same way if the equivalent resistance is rt by n the equivalent resistance the resistance here divided into rt by 2n rt by 2n here uh, this is how the t network looks like and the this uh, the second one is t2 is the cascade connection of the two t networks and the next one is the the third t3 is the cascade connection of the three t networks so this is how the t network looks like and the next one is the pi network this is how the pi network looks like the the two capacitors are adjusted between the sorry the resistor is adjusted between the two capacitances so for example as uh, i said in the t network the equivalent resistance and capacitance in this one is in this uh, example is r and c for example uh, let's say the equal resistance and capacitance are r and c so the capacitance uh, here is uh, c by 2 and the capacitance here is c by 2 so apparently uh, if we consider the equal resistance of uh, rt by 2n and uh, uh, the capacitance is ct by 2n so the equal and the capacitance which is here is uh, ct by 2n and here is ct by 2n uh, this is the cascade connection of the two pi networks and this is the cascade connection of the three pi networks this is how the t and the pi networks look like and the next one is rlc model uh, so far we have discussed about the uh, we have discussed the concept uh, which is regarding the low frequency models in low frequency models the impedance is due to the resistance uh, here the resistance dominates if we use uh, high frequencies and uh, also we use the uh, wider wise the resistance decreases because uh, as we have already seen that uh, according to the equation r is equal to rho l by a uh, l is inversely proportional to the rho rho is the resistivity if the pi is wider the resistivity is low the resistivity decreases hence the resistance decreases so comparatively resistance decreases so that's why the inductance comes into the picture so in this model we are going to uh, considering the r l and c we are considering the inductance so that's why we have model this as r l and c so this is how the rlc model looks like uh, these are the models that you have uh, disk these are the models uh, which are used to calculate the interconnected delay so uh, there are so many other models also we have discussed the uh, a few models here so this is how uh, so we can this is how we can calculate the interconnected delay by using these delay models thank you